To lose the fat, you must lose the wheat. Is wheat the cause of your obesity? You know, today's wheat isn't the wheat anymore. The wheat in modern diet has no relationship to original wheat other than the name. The wheat we consume today is so far removed from the wheat of our ancestors that they would not recognize it. We should all avoid eating the wheat the food industry has created, your synthetic pesticides and commercial chemical fertilizers. Look at this uh, diagram. Ancient wheat, how it used to look back during the time of Moses, and modern wheat, hybridized and bred to be bigger to give a higher yield. And with that higher yield comes a lot more carbohydrates and making us all fatter. Drop the wheat, drop the fat. There's a unique protein called gliadin, which has a morphine-like effect that fuels appetite, which causes weight gain. Drop the wheat from your diet and you will reduce your hunger pains and drop weight. No wheat, no pain, no pain, no gain. You can stop the hunger cycle. You eat, you, you have a sugar high, you go down, you're hungry again, you eat again, and it's a vicious cycle. And we're all guilty of this. You know, that could be a diagram, a picture of me, because I used to go through a loaf of Italian bread with butter or with bacon and eggs, and I was in seventh heaven. And why is that? Because wheat isn't everything. The food industry has increased the production of wheat and in turn had to find more ways to sell the huge amount that is now produced. Wheat can cause us to become addicted to it because it contains substantial morphine-like compounds. Your blood sugar will increase more than just two, from just two slices of whole wheat bread higher than from a candy bar. Could you imagine that? Two slices of bread give you a higher sugar high than a candy bar. It hurts our intestinal tract. There are over 1,000 proteins and complex carbohydrates you need to eat. To date, wheat has more gluten in it than it was 100 years ago. And that's why when we were growing up, we never heard about gluten-free or gluten this or gluten that. There wasn't a problem with the wheat. But gluten can cause your immune system to attack your intestinal tract, which can lead to malnutrition, weight gain, and irritable bowel syndrome. The herbicides, pesticides, and fungicides that is found in today's wheat encourage women to store fat in their hips, thighs, and belly, and men in their waistline. It does havoc to your GI tract and slows down metabolism. A chemical dough conditioner called potassium promate that makes bread soft interferes with the body's natural hormones and increased risk of thyroid cancer. It is banned in most countries, but not in the USA. Could you imagine that? Potassium bromate suppresses hydroactivity, slowing down our metabolism, and we burn less calories and causes fat gain. It is still available in the pizza, cakes, cookies, and bread we eat. You know, we always wonder, why can't we eat cookies, or why can't we eat pizza, or why can't we eat bread? It's because all these compounds that are in flour and the modern-day wheat are causing us to gain weight. Efforts to ban the use of potassium bromate in bread. The UK banned bromate bread in bread in 1990. Canada banned bromate in bread in 1994. Australia still has not finalized its July 207 proposal to mandate iodized salt in bread, breakfast cereals, and biscuits. As of September 2007, the USDA maintains potassium bromide is still listed as a safe additive. And as of did today, May 2017, it's still available in the USA and still listed as a safe additive. You know, uh, one of the big problems here that in this uh, diagram also is breakfast cereals. You know, breakfast cereals, by and large, come from wheat. They either cornflakes or oat flakes or different types of flakes and cereals and sugars and salts that you take in the morning because we were told that 
Bacon and eggs was bad for you. But why do we love bread? Bread turns to sugar, driving up your glucose, blood sugar, and straining your body's ability to produce the insulin needed to process all these calories. This leads to inflammation throughout your body and extra fat stored around your belly. This is also the first step towards developing diabetes. Any wheat product, be it whole grain or from white flour, is not good for your health. It's why you should avoid carbohydrates as much as possible, which makes it hard to maintain good blood sugar levels. Giving up wheat products will make you feel better, lose weight, and reverse the ill effects it has caused to your health. Look at this diagram. Fat loss is all about controlling blood sugar. Two basic truths. And you know, a lot of people don't realize it's not about calories. It's about blood sugar. When you eat foods that turn to sugar, it signals your body to store the excess as fat. And that's it. That's the magic formula. When you eat foods that turn to sugar, it signals your body to store the excess as fat. And where does it go? On your belly, on your hips, on your butt, in your face. When you restrict your body and have a blood sugar level low, you end up with hunger, cravings, and extreme fatigue. So it's important to control your blood sugar. How to save your health? By removing wheat products from your diet, you will automatically reduce your daily calorie count by 400. Eliminate everything that you know that contains wheat. Stop eating pastas, breads, cookies, pizza, and cakes to reduce your addiction and better control your blood sugar levels. Read the food labels and look out for hidden wheat and cornstarch. Elimination of wheat will cause weight loss, dramatic substantial weight loss. Reduce appetite, calorie intake, and food obsession. Control blood sugar reduction. Reduce joint pain. Reduce inflammation. Reduce blood pressure. Reduction in triglycerides, increase HDL, the good cholesterol, and reduce the small LDL, the bad cholesterol. Increase energy, improve sleep, less acid reflux, irritable bowel syndrome. Something so simple with no doctor prescription required. Cut out the wheat. If you can't do it cold turkey, do it little by little but try to reduce the amount of wheat products you consume in a given day. And I bet you, you'll be shocked to see how much wheat you consume in any given day. And like this chart shows, you could drop 400 calories a day just by stopping eating wheat products.